The Magic Friend Maker, a Whitman Small World Library book by Gladys Baker Bond. The Magic Friend Maker by Gladys Baker Bond, with illustrations by Stina Nagel. The world is full of surprises. When one is very small, none more overwhelming, none more delightful than the discovery of a best friend. Gladys Baker Bond draws on her own happiest childhood memories in the story of how one little girl reaches out to another and finds a magic friend maker in the joy of shared experience. The first step can be a difficult one, and Beth's success will be reassuring to every child who hears her story. The Magic Friend Maker by Gladys Baker Bond Illustrated by Stina Nagel this book was printed in the United States of America in 1966 by Western Publishing Company, Incorporated. It was based out of Racine, Wisconsin. Beth was a one girl. She had no best friend. She wanted one. She pretended she was her own best friend, but it did not work. It takes two girls or two boys or one boy and one girl, to be best friends. Poor Beth. She played alone. Then one day, Beth found another one girl. Her name was Jean, and she was sitting on a step. Jean smiled when she looked at Beth. Beth saw sparkles in Jean's not blue, not brown eyes. Suddenly, Beth knew Jean was someone very special. So she said, Hello, I'm Beth. I'm Jean, the new girl said. We just moved in. In Jean's hand, Beth saw something about the size of an egg. So she asked, What are you playing with? A rock, Jean said. Oh, you don't have a rock, Beth said. But she hoped Jean had a rock. Here in the middle of the city, there were no rocks. Jean opened her fingers. There was a rock. Beth saw that Jean's rock was smooth. It looked very old. Its brownness was streaked with one color that looked like rust on an old iron and another color that looked like a policeman's coat on a smoggy morning. Touch it, Jean said. My rock gets warm when you hold it. So Beth held the rock. Jean was right. Beth's warm skin warmed the rock. Beth could feel its smoothness and its roundness and its altogetherness. Where did you get it? Beth asked. I found it in a river, Jean said. It's pretty when it's wet. You want to see? Oh, yes, Beth said. So Beth went upstairs with Jean. Jean told Beth, when I found my rock, the sun was shining and the water was moving. So Jean put her rock in the water and Beth looked at the rock with electric light shining on it. Something wonderful happened to the rock. It looked like melted candy streaked with red, yellow, and shadowy blue. Beth picked up the rock. Out of the water, the rock looked old again but it felt wonderfully cool and a little bit slippery. Is it a magic rock? Beth asked. No, Jean said. But Beth knew Jean was wrong. There was kind of a magic about the rock. Sharing it had turned a new girl into a best friend. After she found Jean, Beth did not mind being a one girl. She played games with her friend they cut out paper dolls, wore their mother's hats, shared coloring books and crayons, giggled, sang, and whispered. They played in the park. They walked on all the paths. They fed popcorn to the sparrows, and once they saw a squirrel. They whirled around and around on a wobbly merry-go-round. They pushed with their feet. They swung so high they seemed to sit on air, for just a second, they teetered, they played hopscotch. When they felt lazy, they rolled Jean's rock back and forth like a ball. When Beth touched the rock, 
It was still warm from Jean's hand. When Jean touched the rock, it was warmed by Beth's hand. They were happy. Then one morning, very early, Jean knocked on Beth's door. She said, Goodbye, Beth. We're moving away. When? Beth asked in a small voice. Now, Jean said, I came to give you my rock. Thank you, Jean, said Beth. Goodbye, Beth, Jean said. Goodbye, said Beth. Jean went down the stairs. Beth thought, where will I find another friend? How will I get to know her? While Beth stood in the hall, a new girl came up the stairs. She said, Hi, I'm Anna. I'm moving in. Hi, Beth said. I'm Beth. Anna looked at the rock in Beth's hand. Beth looked at the rock, too. It was just a rock until it was shared. Then it became a magic friend maker. Beth smiled. Suddenly, she knew how to get to know this new girl. Want to touch my rock? she asked. Oh, yeah, Anna said. Her eyes sparkled, and Beth knew that the magic had worked again.